Thanks so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Hello everyone, hi there, and welcome to today's vlog. Very exciting. Um, I have to read two books on a deadline because I'm participating in two live shows this week, or this weekend. So it's Friday right now, and I need to finish The Echo Wife for the Krusty Book Club that's run by Chanel. We have a live show for this tomorrow on Saturday at noon. And then I don't have the other book in my hands, but we, for my book club, the late night book club that I run with Elias and Joel, we have to read The Chosen and the Beautiful by Sunday at 2 p.m. So I don't remember how far I am. I think I'm on chapter 14. Um, so I'm about 100 pages in. I'm actually really enjoying this book. <laughs> um, I didn't really know what it was about. I was so thrilled that Chanel asked me to be a part of it. And I saw the cover and I was like, whoa, looks like there's like a wife betrayal, husband betrayal, marriage betrayal. And um, I didn't realize that there's cloning in it until I read the synopsis after I bought it. Um, and so I was a little intimidated because I was like, oh, what if this is like too much sci-fi? Like it just goes over my head. But I feel like the author did a great job so far at blending like marital betrayal and like real feelings and also some science fiction with the cloning process. So I'm excited to finish this. I'm hoping to finish this by tonight, uh, but I do have until noon tomorrow to finish it and it's really short. So my best friend is coming over today to hang out and to meet our new dog, uh, Max. She hasn't, see she hasn't met her yet. So I'm really excited to see her, really excited for her to meet Max. And that's kind of the plan. Right now I'm gonna go work out, which is really exciting. And I'm drinking an Alani new Stardust energy drink. Uh, Cosmic Stardust. Happy Friday, friends, and happy weekend. See ya. My angels, listen up. I worked out, it was a great time. Um, I, it doesn't look like I worked out. Maybe because I didn't give it 100%, but in any case, I worked out regardless. And um, I read some more of The Echo Wife. I'm now over halfway done. I'm really loving it. On my way home, I was on the phone with my best friend, and I picked us both up some dragon fruit refreshers. Love it, but here's the deal. When I showed up to the front window, I, was, I did the little scanny payment thing on my phone and the guy that was working asked me if I had a YouTube channel and then said that his girlfriend Vanessa watches me. So Vanessa, if you're watching this, my mind is blown. I, oh my God, I thought it was so cool. So Vanessa, your boyfriend is so nice and he made a mean dragon fruit refresher. So anyway, just wanted to give you guys that update. I'm gonna go inside now, I'm gonna shower, and then my best friend's gonna get here, and we're gonna order sandwiches. Oh, and I have therapy tonight. Great, all right. Woo! Look what my friend sent me! Flowers! This is gorgeous footage. Wow. Woo! Hi everyone, we went, we went to a store called Therapy. And also I have it at five o'clock. <laughs> <Anyway. laughs> um, and we got a little bit of a haul. The first one is the apple blue clover cal calendar? Candle. Candle. Wow, I wish you guys would take a whiff. It's amazing. Describe the smell. It's like light and airy and fresh. And fucking fruity for the fucking summer. And basically like three adjectives that don't help you at all, <laughs> but I'm giving them to you anyway. Um, she got a straw lid which I thought we would share, right? Actually, she thought we should share. And then look, Rifle Paper Co. notebooks. I wanted flimsy notebooks. They come in a stack of three. Let's pick our favorites. Ready, Grace, we have peach. I tell you. Blue. Cute. Black. Mine. Seriously? Yes. <laughs> I was like, what am I gonna do with three fucking notebooks? Oh my god, so fucking cute. Oh, look at my earrings. It's not my channel. Oh my god, look at it. One. Ugh. Two. Just incredible. Also, Love two her. new piercings. What do we want to get? Wait, no. One new piercing. One new piercing. <laughs> One new piercing, three new jewels. <laughs> Does it hurt? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> cool. And your piercing awesome. never heals, and yet we keep getting them. <laughs> what do you want me to say? <laughs> we love pain. All right. That's it. Hi, everyone. I am. Um, it is like 6 p.m. on Friday, and I just had therapy for an hour, which was really great. 
and it is so hot in California and we don't have AC and it is just so hot. <laughs> um, tonight, I mean, it's Friday the 13th tonight and so I wanted to watch a scary movie. I actually really like the 2009 Friday the 13th movie, but I was actually thinking we might watch Contagion for the scary movie of the night. I watched it for the first time like seven months ago and I just cannot get it out of my head. So I'm gonna see if my best friend wants to watch it. Um, she doesn't really love scary movies, but she might like this one because it's not like haunting themed. <laughs> um, so we're gonna do that. I don't think I'll be reading much tonight, so I'll probably just check in with you all tomorrow um, because the live show is tomorrow. I'm over halfway done with the book, so um, I should be able to finish it tomorrow morning, no problem. I'll probably do a bike ride while I read it while listening to the audiobook. I'm really excited for that conversation, so. I also don't know what we're eating tonight. I'm kind of feeling Indian food. So that's what I'm going to pitch, but we'll see what happens. I am now gonna go drink a gallon of water. Max also came in here to hang out with me during therapy, which was really cute. She was by my feet the other the entire time. And she was dreaming. So she was like running in her dreams. You know, so cute. So anyway, also reminder, please drink your water. Just drink it today, okay? Just drink something for the love of God. Um, let me show you Max while we're here. Look at her, Max. Max, are you hungry? You want food? You want dinner? You hungry? Is that your tail? Is that your tail? Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday and I've just finished The Echo Wife. Also painted my nails. Thought it would match a little bit better. Turns out not at all. Um, anyway, I finished The Echo Wife and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was short, sweet, thrilling, sci-fi fun. Um, and maybe I haven't read enough sci-fi. Like maybe if I've Maybe if like sci-fi was more my genre, I'd be like, eh, this book was just okay. But maybe because I don't know a lot of sci-fi, this felt really creative and unique and innovative. So I really liked it. And the live show for it is in an hour and a half. So I'm going to do my makeup where in one corner of my eye, I have yellow eyeshadow. And in the other corner of my eye, I have a greenish color. So I'm using the ColourPop Yoda palette. And I'm gonna use this middle shade, which is cutest in the galaxy. Um, and I don't think it's quite blue enough, but it's what I have. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna use Baby Face for one eye. Maybe I should just use, ye use yellow on both eyes. <laughs> uh, no, I'm gonna use both. Okay, I'm gonna use both. I am going to, and then for the yellow, it's more of a, it's one of the darker yellows. I think I'm gonna use the O oh Behave color down here. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna do some eyeliner and I'm excited for it. All right, here is the finished look. It's very subtle, right? We've got greenish blue, we've got yellow, then we've got it on, wow, this one's like basically not noticeable. <laughs> Um, but I, you know what, it's a subtle, it's a subtlety, you know? The live show is in about an hour. So that's fun, that's great, and the dogs are gonna lose it here in a second. So I'm gonna go take care of that before they start doing it while I'm filming, okay, bye. Hello everyone, it's me. And I just, actually I finished the live show an hour ago and it was really great. So many amazing questions and comments. I was genuinely like, these people are so smart in this in this comment section. So <laughs> I felt like I was in the presence of greatness, truly. And so it went really well. And now I'm gonna go work out. I want it to just be a long workout and just, just get out of my head and get into my heart and into my sweat. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm going to read some more of The Chosen and the Beautiful. I have the audiobook, which is pretty groovy. And um, I know that this book so far, like the things that I've seen, is that a lot of people have said like, oh, you know, I didn't, I didn't love it as much as I would have hoped. 
But so far, I'm really, really enjoying it. I think the writing's really strong. And maybe, I mean, I'm only on chapter four, but maybe it's because I don't know the original Great Gatsby very well. I've only read it once and I didn't love it that much. And so maybe I'm like, this can be my new Great Gatsby. Like, it's fine if this is more canon for me than the actual Great Gatsby, because so far I think it's really interesting. And I like that there's a little, little twi tiny bit of magic. Um, that's really fun. It feels a little bit like a storybook in some of the chapters from when our main character is a girl. Like there's a few moments of like magic and imagination that I think is really good. And I've also just been completely obsessed with this cover since I saw it. It's like she is coming out of pages of a book. The color of the flowers just looks like paper. I went to San Francisco a few weeks ago and I picked out this print. Oh, oh my God. The gold sun is foiled and it's just so stunning. At this point, I'm just procrastinating. I'm gonna go work out now and I'll also let you know how far I get into The Chosen and the Beautiful. Right now I'm on chapter three um, and there's 25 chapters or 24 chapters. 24 chapters? I don't know. Um, but I'll let you know how far I get and that's it. See ya. Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday at like 1030 in the morning and I just finished The Chosen and the Beautiful. In another clip, I talked about how much I liked the cover because these like leaves around her looked like paper, like they were kind of paper colored and okay. <laughs> Max is crying, um, but I didn't realize that there was actually a lot of mention of paper and there was a lot of mention of paper cutting and paper magic. And so I'm appreciating this cover even more than I already did, but I thought the writing was spectacular, like truly dazzling, amazing. I was so, it, it felt like a fairy tale to me, kind of like a storybook um, that I, haven't felt in a while with reading. Like I've loved so many of the things that I've read over the last couple months, but this felt like I was actually in another world that was just sparkling. And there was just, I thought the writing was just spectacular. I would have liked to know a little bit more about the paper cutting magic because it was such an interesting spin on the story. And it would have been really fun to hear more about that or to hear more about Jordan's abilities with paper cutting. But I also understand why the author decided to keep it really close to The Great Gatsby because it is a Great Gatsby retelling. And I feel like if the author maybe took it too far from The Great Gatsby, people would have said, well, what? You said it was a retelling and yet it's nothing like the original. So I see both sides of it. And I think that the author told a beautiful story in the way that they wanted to tell it. So I think it was really, really great. And I thought that the writing was just spellbinding. So, Really enjoyed it, can't wait to discuss it. And uh, I have quite a to-do list for the day and a lot of it includes cleaning, <laughs> which is exciting. Um, and also maybe going, there's this new like store franchise or store, what is it? Chain of, um, store chain of like house stuff. It's called At Home and I've never been there, but I really wanna buy a rug so I might go do that today. And uh, that's really the, the update I have. Buying a rug and doing laundry and um, that's literally it. So <laughs> um, yeah, that's, that's the update my friends. Also, did I mention this in my last vlog, but I have gone Pinterest, I have a Pinterest addiction now um, and I want to kind of not really redo our room, but just kind of like make it more intentional. And so you can see I'm like really into warm oranges, peach, green, tan. Oh, I just, I really, really am inspired right now. So I think I gotta go to a little home decor store and that's, that's it. That's what I have to say. I'd like to get a little bookshelf too for the bedroom. I just think it would be fun to have it. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna go now, but I will check in with you 
later skaters. All right, I used to have this sunflower print right in the center of this wall, but I've reworked it to, uh, well, I love this right here. Really, really just enhances the look and feel. But we've got just some Polaroids. We've got this magnificent print and this print and that print and then an embroidery from my friend Jess Decker. I'm gonna link her Instagram down below. She's one of my greatest friends these days. So I'll link her. And then someone sent me this to my PO box, which is super cool. You can like put stuff in it. And then we have this hosier play button for cherry wine that my best friend Grace got me. So it's just so cool. I'm really proud of how this all came together. All right, everyone, back from Target. And I bought a new microwave. And what else? Also got, let's show you, we got cake mix, but here's the deal. I didn't get any of the necessities. I don't think we have eggs. So that was a dumb move on my part, to say the least. I did get some frosting. I got some new dryer sheets. The ones we had sucked. Uh, bread. Ooh, these, also these like cool, I've seen these for years and I've just never gotten them and I feel like they'd be fun. So I got the like, unstoppable scent boosters. Also got some new Tide and my soda stream bottle messed up. And so we, or I purchased two new ones, love. I decided to splurge today on a big bitch of peanut butter. Love to see it. Also got Max a tough toy because she can destroy toys in about five seconds. Got some new command strips. Got some bubbly drops in the pineapple flavor for the soda stream. And some triple A's. So I think that's all I got. And uh, that's the target run, my friends. everyone it's monday at 8 53 and uh, i have a meeting in seven minutes but first i thought we'd go through my planner again today also my i had like a pot of flowers that started to leak and it got everything soaked on the top half of my pages but i love a good water stain so no party no foul is that the expression i don't know actually um okay so let's go through my week. Love it. Um, I have a tattoo at 6 p.m. on Thursday. And um, I thought my tuition was due this week. It was actually due last week. Almost got dropped from all my classes. But we're going to grab a black pen for all of the things. Remember from last vlog, all of the things that I need to know for my week are on this side of the page. And then my to-do lists are on the lined side on the other side. So let's go to my calendar. We have two meetings today. Two meetings on Tuesday, 11.30 meeting and uh, 2 p.m. And then we have video shoots Wednesday through Friday. Um, I think that's all I need to know for the actual week of like things to do. Yeah, I think it's just the, uh, I think it's just the tattoo that I want to make sure I don't forget. So now let's make the to-do list of the day. We're going to use a lavender, whoops, a lavender color to do on August 16th two meetings, and then in all caps, I'm gonna write work out, because I didn't yesterday and I was not happy with myself. Um, we're gonna continue reading. I'm just gonna put reading, and you know what? I'm actually gonna say, in parentheses, hour, at least an hour today. I think that's it. I think that's all I have planned for the day. All right, this meeting is starting in two minutes. I'm gonna go do that, and then 
I'll check in later. Also, the book that I started reading, instead of reading It Happened One Summer, I actually had started reading this book called The Dating Dare. Let me show you the cover. Come on now, focus, come on. There it is. And so far, really liking it. The narrator, her name is Natalie Nottis, and uh, she's narrated a bunch of books that I've read or listened to, and I really love her voice. So it's been great to listen to her. Anyway, I'm gonna go do this meeting and I will check in with you all later. All right, everyone, we've got a horrible kitchen right now. It is just, just a mess. We've got books, we've got trash, we've got Target bags, we've got LaCroix. It's just, it's a mess. We've got a Brita back there. So I'm going to clean now. And then when you see this from the same angle in the next clip, it will be sparkling and shiny. And Parker's eating, so if you hear his grumbling, that's what that sound is. But I'm gonna go, and when I check in with you again, we're gonna have a dazzling kitchen, my friends. Woo! Woo! Yeah! Look at that! Cloroxed and everything. I'm probably gonna sweep and mop tonight, but at least for now, it's looking good. It's looking clean, and now I'm gonna meal prep, woo, and get it all messed up again. <laughs> but at least it's clean for now. Hello everyone, it's me again, and it's 7.30 on Monday. And I got some school book mail, and it's Dracula. My professor is very particular about making sure to get the Norton Critical Editions, so I already own a really cool version of Dracula, which is more for show than anything else, because it's a beautiful spine um, <laughs> and beautiful cover, um, but, she really likes us to have Norton Critical Editions so that we can all be referencing the same page numbers at the same time. And also she really likes the annotation in these, annotations in these editions. So uh, I read Don Quixote in her class and that was the same. And then there was one other, I think, that she wanted me to get that was a Norton Critical Edition. In any case, Dracula! It's being read this semester, finally. I talked about wanting to read this last year. Never did it. I've been talking about it for years, and I just haven't done it. And so I am TAing for a vampire class this semester with my guardian, guardian angel of a professor. She's my favorite professor of all time. And uh, I've taken, I think, a class with her for the last four semesters. <laughs> Um, so she's probably sick of me, <laughs> but she also signed off on me being her TA. Anyway, so I got my book mail and I meal prepped and I deep cleaned the kitchen. I am now, let me tell you where I am in The Dating Dare. I'm on chapter 10 and I have an hour and a half left on the audiobook. There's the answer. And so far it's really sweet. I mean, it's a cute little romance. I was talking about this the other day, how like seven days in June felt like a like deep romance, like a, like a conflict, what's gonna happen? Why did these people fall out of love? Is there still a hope or a chance for them? And then you have romances like this that are just like soothing to the soul. If you just need something to make you laugh and feel the flutters of butterflies. I was going to say the flutters of butters, but that doesn't really <laughs> truly make sense. So anyway, I mean, I think it's really cute. I'm over halfway done. And again, I really love this narrator. I just love it. So um, I also really love it because the main girl in the book is um, she went to school to be a master sommelier and she now helps craft different IPAs and different beers, let's just say. And so it's, I mean, it's a, it's a storyline I've never read before. I thought that was really cool. It also reminds me a little bit of 10 things I hate about, no, no, no. It reminds me a lot of how to lose a guy in 10 days because it's like, they have this dare between the two main characters that are like, hey, let's go on four dates. And she's like, oh, I don't know. And she says something like, what, do you think I'm gonna fall in love with you? And he was like, maybe that's the bet. Maybe I can make you fall in love with me in four dates. And let me just tell you this, guys. I think they're well on their way to being just that, to being head over heels. 
So yeah, it's really sweet. I also need to finish Silence of the Girls, but I just, I don't know, maybe because it's such a heavy book, it's really heavy, that is keeping me from finishing it. Uh, the writing is spectacular, but it's also a little bit like, do I want to deal with this right now? I don't know. So I guess we'll see. Also, just another photo in the old catalog. My favorite photo in the world. All right, well, I'm going to go now, but uh, reading's going well, and I've definitely read over an hour today, so we're feeling good, feeling groovy. See ya. So we're gonna take a quick pause to talk about Skillshare for a second. I've talked about Skillshare in the past, but I absolutely adore this website because there's thousands and thousands of lessons already uploaded on here to help you learn a new, you guessed it, skill. So if you go up here in the browse section, check it out. We have animation, we have film and video, we have web development, Thrive has lifestyle and productivity. There's just so many classes with each one of these tabs that you can just go explore and figure out what you wanna learn next. But for me specifically, I was really intrigued by this interior design basics, simple steps for your perfect space by Lauren Cox. Now I mentioned this in this vlog, but I have started to rearrange things in my house and this class seems perfect for that because although I've started to move furniture, I don't actually know how to design my space in a very organized but like personality type way. Um, I want it to be creative, but I don't want it to be overwhelming. And so this class seems awesome for that. Not only does she give you all these lessons, but she also gives you homework. So you take all these lessons and you start to style your own bookcases like these people have down here. So if skills share sounds fun to you, the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in my description will get a month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring, and now let's get back to the vlog! Good morning, everyone! I hope you're having a lovely Tuesday today. I washed my hair last night, which is why it looks so good. I don't know. I would say I don't know what's going on, but... It's because I washed it. Um, also, I think I mentioned this, but I'm trying to grow out my bangs. I don't know why, because my bangs have been such a staple in my life. But I, I just, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling, <laughs> I'm feeling a change. And unfortunately, this is a long change because it takes a long time to grow out your bangs. But let's go over our to-do lists, friends. Um, to do yesterday, I did my two meetings. I worked out, I read for over an hour. I think I read probably more like two or three hours um, because of, I was reading when I was exercising, physically reading on my Kindle. Um, I usually, if I'm reading while I'm exercising, like I'm usually on the bike behind me, you can see it, that's green. Um, if I am riding the bike, I'll be reading while I'm listening to my reading playlist and so, was reading on there and then also was listening to the dating dare while I meal prepped and cleaned and did all the things. So I finished that. Those are three things that I've done. Now today's to-do list, we have cardio. Listen to this, fuckers. <laughs> I, uh, I finished my cardio this morning. Uh, vlog, doing it right now. Target at lunch. Can't cross it off yet, it's not lunch. And then I have two meetings. I'm getting half of it done in, now it's six minutes. Uh, but yeah, that is my to-do list of the day. Oh my God, and I have a call tonight. That is my to-do list of the day. Okay, I didn't write read. I'm gonna write read. I'm gonna do read for an hour. Read one hour. That sounds like a reasonable request. And I've already done a half an hour today, so. Feeling good, feeling groovy. Happy Tuesday. Drink your water. Bye. Good morning, everyone. It's Wednesday. Cheers to us, right? Woo! 
I am going to do my makeup because I have a video shoot today. Um, actually, I was gonna be on the video shoot all day, but I'm just helping set up the video shoot. And then tomorrow we will be, I'll be there for half the day on a video shoot. And then again on, what day is it? Again on Friday, no, again on Monday. I'll be back on Monday to help with another video shoot. So today's call time for the video shoot is 9 a.m., which is great, no problem. So that's really it. Should I do eyeliner today? Wow, well, I should not middle part, jeepers creepers. Um, should I do eyeliner? Might be overkill. Yeah, it's overkill. I'm just gonna do mascara. Also, I talked about in my last reading vlog, I talked about how I was trying out the new Kush waterproof milk mascara. I said that in a terrible order. Anyway, I uh, I was trying it out, didn't like it. I actually saw a comment where someone said, yeah, everyone hates that one. Even people who like the original Milk Kush last mascara hate, <laughs> hate the uh, waterproof one. So it's good to know it wasn't just me. Like I wasn't just being picky, um, but I went and got not my favorite mascara from Target. They were out of my favorite one, but I got the Maybelline Lash Sensational Luscious Waterproof. Um, Mascara, not my favorite. I actually don't even know what my favorite one is called. I just know it comes in a pink tube. So um, yesterday, I didn't read as much as I would have wanted to. I only read for like a half an hour while I was doing cardio, which is fine, right? Just wasn't a reading day for me. But I also did some school stuff. School starts for me on Tuesday. I'm taking a Milton class, not excited for it. And I'm also a TA. Oh, which I already talked to you about because of the Dracula book. Um, so I have two classes, Tuesdays and Thursdays. We're also starting dog training with Max on Wednesdays. So it's gonna be busy little time in life, which, you know, it's a good type of busy. I hope that this semester's good. Um, Cause I, you know, have kind of mentally checked out from school. So I'm hoping that it's better than, you know, it has been. Anyway, um, last night we watched some more Lego Masters, which is a show on Hulu. There's two seasons out and whoa, there's two seasons out. We watched the first season as it was coming out um, and then are doing the same thing with season two, really enjoying it. Uh, they just make some really cool Lego creations, but it's not just like, oh, look, today you're making a castle. Instead, it's like, hey, make a really tall building and see how long it lasts in a simulated earthquake. Like, how will your Legos perform? And then another one was, like last night, it was like, make a windmill, and then we're gonna get a fan that goes up to 60 miles per hour and see how long your windmills can last. Um, so it's really cool. And uh, it's just really fun to watch. My boyfriend loved Legos when he was little, so to him it's like nostalgic and interesting and just, you know. I hope you have a lovely Wednesday and I will talk to you all later, okay? Love you all. Happy, let me fix this. Happy Wednesday. Hi everyone, it's me and it's Wednesday afternoon. I got home from the video shoot and then had a meeting and did some uploading of things and documents and doing a little bit of Google Sheet management. Um, but anyway, right now I'm actually looking at my class, my Milton class for the semester. And I have finally decided to make the switch over to taking notes via Google Docs. It's 2021. I don't know what I was doing taking physical notes um, because I would get really lazy with it. And so the first couple weeks, awesome notes. And then I would just fall off after the first couple weeks. I would just be like, okay, well, you suck at taking notes now. So I guess you're not taking notes. And so I've decided to just do... <laughs> This is so dumb, it's taking me way too long, but I've decided to just use Google Docs now. So actually for my Milton class, the professor is super organized, like the most organized professor I've ever had in my life. 
I've taken one class with her before and she knows her shit so well. She is so smart. And, um, and so she has a bunch of like pre-work you're supposed to do or like not even really work, but just like pre-videos you're supposed to watch about like scholarship and readings we're gonna have to do and how to check out books from the library since we're all remote now, or at least this class is still fully remote. So um, yeah, it's, it's a lot, but what's really cool is that for the program that we use, most of my professors will just like put the assignments up on like the school website and then you just like go through and look at them. But this professor actually has check boxes next to each um, like reading and video we have to watch, which as you all know, I am highly motivated by a to-do list. And so <laughs> I am like going through all the check marks right now. Um, but it's been kind of fun actually to like, I don't know, I, I haven't been shy about this, but I'm not excited for this upcoming semester. And yet when there's check boxes and I feel like I can actually like make, I don't know, uh, a dent in my classwork before it even starts, I just feel kind of motivated. But I'm gonna now flip you around so that you can watch me do some homework. I'll put some music on for you and just do that. So there we go. everyone it's me to give you a proper outro and to also show you my newest tattoo which i <laughs> i went and got b-roll footage of like i went to the city to get the tattoo and i got some b-roll in the city but then i never showed the actual reveal so on thursday night i went to the city got this tattoo and it's actually a tattoo for my best friend we came up with this idea a couple weeks ago and we've been wanting to get matching tattoos for years I think it's probably been like realistically six years of kicking around ideas. And I came up with this idea a couple weeks ago and we both loved it so much. And it's this phone. It's a phone that says loves by because that's how we say goodbye to each other every time we hang up the phone. And we've had to have a pretty heavy phone friendship because she had studied abroad in college. She was a wildland firefighter for a couple seasons. She's lived all over the country. And so we've always had to rely on phone calls. And so we just like, we can't always see each other, but we know we always will call each other. We talk, if not every single day, then at least six days a week on the phone, sometimes for hours. And so getting a phone felt like the best idea for us. And I just love it. It's one of my favorite tattoos I've ever gotten. This is by the same artist that did uh, my little wrist tattoos and my tattoos up here. So I love her work. I'll make sure to link her down below. Uh, but that is gonna be the sign off clip for this vlog. I hope you all enjoyed. And again, thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring it. Hope you had fun and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.